So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you. Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will be talking about how you can create a proxy server for your local LLM using light LLM and Olama. So giving you a background, Olama is basically used to access LLMs locally into your system and light LLM will be helping us to create a proxy server. So what is the requirement of a proxy server? So if you don't know, a proxy server can be helpful in many, many ways. First of all, it acts as a gateway between the internet and the user who is hitting the API. So eventually it adds to a lot of security. So if you have into your colleges and all, you must be remembering that before connecting to the internet, there was proxy servers that you need to connect with. Apart from that, it can add customizations like filtering into the API, can help you check with the rate and to control internet usage, monitoring, all this can be used with the help of proxy server. Why we are doing this? Because there are certain packages like Autogen, very popular one for multi-agent orchestration that requires uh, proxy servers to access local LLMs. They can't be accessed directly. So that is why I came to know about proxy servers and how you can use it with local LLMs using light LLM. So let's get started. So first of all, I assume that you have already downloaded Olama from the internet and you know about Olama. If you don't, you can check out my previous video on how to use Olama. Once you have uh, downloaded Olama, uh, do mention that your Olama process is running in the background. As you can see, just follow my cursor here. You can see that my Olama instance is running in the background and I have already uh, downloaded the tiny llama model. So you need to go back to the Olama video to check out how local LMs can be downloaded using Olama. Once you are done with this, you need to pip3 install light LLM. So light LLM is basically helping us to create the proxy server. I have already installed it, but this is just for your uh, purpose. I'm not running this code. Once you have installed light LLM, we need to run this particular command double hyphen model and then olama that's uh, the name of your the model that you have downloaded so uh, for my case i have you i'm using tiny llama so tiny llama giving a brief about it it is a miniature version of llama about 1 billion parameters i assume and gives you a decent performance with this particular line light llm hyphen hyphen model olama forward slash tiny llama now your proxy server is ready there are other packages like wheel LLM also and hugging face TGI that I've heard that provides you with the same service, but they are not as easy as light LLM. Light LLM, as you can see, it's just one line of code. Light LLM model, name of the model. Similarly, not just for Olama, for local models, even other APIs can be hosted on the proxy server. Like for example, hugging face API, if you wish to use into your proxy server, you just need to mention uh, instead of Olama, hugging face, forward slash and then the hugging face ID of the model and do remember that you need to provide the token hugging face token in that case which requires API Olama doesn't require that so it is way easier now here you can see that our model is now present at this particular local host HTTP uh, local host colon port number 4000 now this is how you can create a proxy server for your local LLMs using light, Lama, uh, light LLM and Olama Eventually, if you hit a curl request on this particular URL, you would be able to get a response now. Thank you so much.